All right. Well, let's see. Okay. Let's get right to it. Joining the U.S. Army. Reserves, active duty. Should you do it? Well, let's find out why. All right. Well, Staff Sergeant Olson, good to have you here today. Where, where are you from originally, Staff Sergeant? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yes. And, um, okay. W when you joined up, you were like 13 years ago. I got to do this. Why? What was your reason? Purpose, direction, motivation. Yeah. Challenge. And the challenge you've accepted. No doubt about it. Uh, so far, uh, some of the most outstanding things in your Army career. What, what comes to mind? Being a drill sergeant, uh, being a recruiter, and having the Army pay for my bachelor's degree. Did you know a drill sergeant Hogarth? Because he was such a jerk to me. Okay. <laughs> Can't say that I do. All right. Because if, if this is in your drill sergeant circles, we're gonna have a problem. Uh. All right. He he pinpointed me out because I, I talk a little different. Right. You know I, I I'm not like I do declare. You know I'm hey how you doing? And he called me Padulla all the time. <laughs> right. I'm and he knew Dulla. that absurd. Right. Dulla. Hey Padulla. <laughs> you sound like Foghorn Leghorn. No, you don't know him. I'll sign, I'll, I'll sign. <laughs> he called me cone boy because I, I ran the fastest so every morning I had to go put out the cones right cone boy where's my cones yeah. right. I would have been in trouble mm. oh. laughing too much my name's not cone boy drill so <laughs> push cone boy <laughs> you think you would laugh oh no I would but you will not Maybe. laugh <laughs> I would have. <laughs> but nonetheless, boom, now into recruiting. Tough gig. Definitely. N not easy. I remember years ago when the recruiting demands were, like, just ridiculous. And, oh, my God, I felt so bad for these recruiters. But uh, but uh, your role now, your mission now, okay? Someone wants to join up. How do you do it? Uh, in several different ways, Joe. Um, what First step is obviously making contact with with said recruit, um, however that's going to be, social media. Well, when we did go to school, obviously, I think times have changed now. Um, calling and texting, right? Somehow I got to get in contact with that. Yeah, that you lead. guys aren't at the schools anymore. Oh, that's got to change the game up a bit, Whew. right? More of a challenge. Can they get on the waiver to be in the classrooms? I don't know. You get you, that's all. That's in Robertson County. You, you don't want those people anyway, right? No, no. I love you, Robertson County. We're just kidding. We're just kidding. But uh, okay, so you, you had to adapt now. Uh, like you said, social media. That's a big one, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, eye to eye is so much different than than. I don't know. I want to say, uh, hey, uh, Facebook message. You interested? I saw you post something. Uh, what are some of the uh, some of the changes that you guys had to make? It, it also changes, Joe, with every every person you talk to. Once I get them in the office, it's completely different. A demeanor might change due to that said applicant, what they want. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that dictates how that conversation goes. So some of them, I just I want education money, and some of them just want experience, right? So. Or, hey, are you working? Do you have a job? No, I'm going to go to college. All right, cool. And then we could talk about, have you looked into the Army Reserves? Or Army Reserve, and we can go down that route that way. Right. Joe, when they, when they go to our Facebook page or our Instagram page and they message us and say, hey, I want to learn more, uh, that's the first initial contact. So it'll get pushed out to them with the prequal conversation, like what's your name, what's your age, yeah. what's your height, weight. Do you have a, a high school diploma? Do you have a GED? Those kind of things. <clears throat> and then once they answer those questions, if they if they make it through the prequal, then it goes out to a recruiter for a recruiter to contact them directly. Got it. Got it. A little filtration yeah. system before you know, because uh, if if you don't click off some of these boxes, we're not even gonna. We just don't have the time. Right. Because I I could only imagine, especially with the shutdown, the recent shutdown. There must have been a, was there an, an influx of people, you know, inquiring about joining the service? I would say there was, Joe. Yeah. Um, due to the uncertainty, right? Right. So nobody understands what's really going to go on with the economy, right? So it's definitely an influx or more people are receptive to when I reach out. Yeah. I get a response more now than, I bet. say, six months ago. Right. I bet. Because I remember in 2008, after the, uh, the, the, the 2008 crash, okay, boom, they were all signing up. 
And now, okay, now that you're getting them, and you're saying the, the education, what, what are some of the education benefits that, that, that they can get when they sign up now? I mean, obviously it's going to change. First and foremost, it's going to go off the score of the ASVAB, um, of the test. And for those who don't know, the ASVAB is, uh, is what? So, I don't know. Um, it's just like the ACT, Joe. Yeah. The ACT or the SAT. It's a, a base level, like an in- introduction test for, hey, can you learn this? And th- and based off of those individual scores, de- determines what job you can do. Right. right. Um, I nailed my ass fat, by the way. Nailed it. Okay. So, and they, they, they give me, oh, then the recruiter, he goes, oh, at that time I was still Mr. Padula, right? <laughs> Mr. Padula, oh, look, you could do this, you could do this, you could do this, you could do this. One of them was broadcasting. So I picked the broadcasting. And he goes, no, 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 you can't pick that one. I go, but it's on the list. He goes, ah, but you failed the dialect test. (laughs) Cone boy. (laughs) Where are my cones? Padula. Uh, It was a tough army life for me. (laughs) But no, you get that ass fat. What about about bonuses? So, right, and exactly that's it. So as long as you are able to cut a 50 very minimum of 50 you then can on the ASVAB on the ASVAB you, uh, you can cut a 50 okay believe you me all right you got this you got this just d- don't drink too much the night before okay you got this <laughs> that that's how they qualify for incentives okay initially off the rip when we talk in, and, and that point is specific incentives right so cash bonus if it's out there for that particular MOS um, more in student loan repayment right okay it has to be a 50 um, for those incentives that come out, but you, obviously we have other incentives, right? So if it's reserve, right, the first incentive that's going to come in is we're going to talk about GI Bill. Yeah. Okay. So obviously you pay in, you're getting this, right? Um, you had can elect it to obviously Tricare late um, in the reserves. On the active duty side, it's no different. Really? Well, it a little bit different, but the 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 GI Bill will be there as long as you pay for it, and we're talking about the bare minimum. Right, right, right. right. So the, just the the bones, right, um, versus getting into the nitty and gritty of what other incentives are out there. Um, so FTA, uh, reserve, active duty, a regular army, whatever you would like to call it, four thousand dollars up to forty five hundred dollars if an exception is granted. Okay. For school. For school. That's pretty good. That that's still pretty darn good. Definitely. See, I said darn. I'm getting better. Right. <laughs> Now, okay, uh, reserve-wise, uh, what, what are we looking at work-wise? What, what, what are the demands, uh, calendar? Like, to be honest, I would definitely push trades, right? Okay. So, um, interior electrician, plumber, HVAC, any diesel mechanic, any, anything where I can use my hands, that I can start a job right away. But the Army is definitely giving me that certification. So, hey, man, here's your certification. You can now work on X, Y, and Z in, in the, uh, heating and cooling, right? Right. And obviously, if we're talking about a local area, we're talking about Nashville's not far away. And with all the infrastructure and building that's going on, you're going to come in as an apprentice right away. You ain't you, kidding. You didn't go to trade school. You went to the Army. You, and you got the, the certificates, the whole bit. whole bit. You went to the Army Reserves. You went to basic training. You went to AIT. You got your cert. You came back. Yeah, people got to understand that. Working. If you do the Reserves, you're going to basic. You're going to AIT, right? It's, it's just not like you're walking in the office. Let me sign the papers. Okay, let me report for duty. Yeah, and, and you want basic, okay? Just watch out for some of those drill sergeants, all right? And really, I mean, the greatest thing about the reserves, just like Sergeant Olson was talking about, is, you know, you, you, you don't have to make a commitment. Like, everybody's got commitment issues, right? It's 2020, nobody wants to commit to anything. I don't have commitment <laughs> issues. Oh, really, Joe? No, I don't. <laughs> Bay. Single, ready to mingle. <laughs> I'm committed to it. <laughs> but, but in the reserves, you know, in the reserves, if, if you if you want to check out the Army and you yeah. want to see what it's like and, and you want, you know, to still have, you know, that work-life balance, then you can have that, all the benefits of being in the Army, you get the trade, you get the job, you get the money, and then you don't have to do it every day. You can do it, you know, it's your... One week in a month, two okay. weeks, up to thirty days uh-huh. a year, depending on how on how your unit is, and y- you really get to find out like, is this something that I want to do career wise? And and for a lot of people in a lot of pl- in a lot of places, like you know, the military seems like a, a huge commitment straight out of high school for a lot of people. So the reserve offers you a chance to kind of 
test it out, see if this is if this is a, a fit for me, and if if I'm a fit for the army. Transition you know? from yeah. reserve to active, uh, possible or easy? It depends on the situation. Okay. Right, right, right. So if someone's like, uh, you know, they, they did their reserve time, you know, like Heather said, they really liked it, okay, I, I, I want to go full-time, I want to go active. Do they got to wait out their contract and then? No. Okay. So uh, rule of thumb, 12 months. 12 months in the reserves allows you to drop a conditional release. Um, and as long as the first GL signs it, first general officer signs it. That's right. That's right. Uh, um, they're going to release you. I've got them released from the Air Force Reserve. I've got them released from the National Guard and the reserve component. So it just depends on how you articulate that, what your current status is. Is the, your, is the unit you're in green, or is that going to take them from an amber to, to a red station, right, where they're like, well, I need to hold on to you. Red station meaning ready well, to go. Like, they, they, they're, they don't have that many soldiers, right? But – so if they don't have that many soldiers, they're probably not going to release you. But if they're if they're they got enough soldiers, right? And depending like that situation, they're going to release you. Um, you can completely finish that enlistment, and then there's no there was no issue about going regular army. Um, and there's obviously other options they have out there, Joe, um, to get on orders too, right? So hey, I'm not I'm not real sold on, still on the regular army, but I need a little bit more time to make a decision. In that first six years. They can get on a site, it's called Tour of Duty, and they can put together a resume, right? Uh, with that resume, it will allow them to search jobs that are in their field um, or to go and assist another another occupational specialty, right? So we'll just say their mechanics they have no idea how to do supply. They're going to go assist supply, and it could be 90 days. It could be six months. It could be up to 12 months, and they leave their job. They come back. I did a year in active duty. Let me go back to, to my job, right? I just wanted to get away for a little bit or also to just see, like, is active duty the route I want to go? Okay. And then I can drop a 368, which is that conditional release, or finish that, that enlistment, right, and then go. And then if, if somebody uh, somebody wants to move forward on this, where are you guys located? How, how can they contact you? What, what is the best way to, uh, to reach out to, uh, to you guys here in Clarksville, Tennessee? So obviously we're we're located at three zero three one Wilma Rudolph Boulevard. Yeah, you guys are right by that. Uh, what's it called? The uh, the Verizon store, right? Definitely. So look for Verizon. Look for FedEx, FedEx. Kinkos, right? Right. It, it, you'll you'll find us right in the I've middle. I've missed your your space so many times and just parked in Verizon and just walked over the grass. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's happened. Did you walk in the grass? Mm -hmm. You know better. Yeah. Well, I wasn't in uniform. I was actually naked. So, <laughs> so that I was excluded from that. But yeah. You can also find us right here on Facebook and Instagram at US Army. Or, sorry. <laughs> Why, are you doing Why are you doing it in that, in that like, a, a, like, late night phone call hotline yes. voice? We are Instagram and Facebook, Army KYTN. That's right, Army KYTN. Uh, or Kentucky and Tennessee. That's right. You're damn right. Bay, you got any questions uh, before we move forward? Oh, no, I'm good. No, Veteran Phil, any questions for our recruiters? What about us uh, soldiers out there that have served, that are tr contemplating trying to re uh, re-enter into the service? That is a great question. I get that that every day. I bet. So A room full of veterans. Right. <laughs> it's situation dependent. Yeah. So obviously the Army will take you back, um, but it's only going to be certain jobs like you're not going to come in being like, hey, um, I got out as, I don't know, a light wheel mechanic, and that is the only job I want. If the only job open is, is communications, you're going into that, that field. Right. Um, and then it depends on the rank. Did you file a bunch of stuff through the VA? And, and it just kind of gets sticky. It just depends on the situation. But the best, the best rule is obviously to come find Staff Sergeant Olson and – I'll put you back in the army. That's what's up. Okay. That's what's up. Uh, intern Shane, you're, you're a young mind. Uh, do you have any any questions for our uh, for our our friends here today from the recruiting battalion? Um, we'll take that as a no. All nah, right. Nah, you really. should definitely come see us after you finish that college degree. I might. I uh, Did my you family the program. My family has a history with the military, so. It wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm doing broadcasting, too, so. Tell you, combat legacies. correspondent, okay? One of the greatest jobs out there. All right? Th don't get me wrong. It's not uploading pictures to Facebook, my friends. But you would love it. You would love it. That's for damn sure. 
All right. Well, uh, thank you to our uh, our friends here from the, uh, the the recruiting station right here in Clarksville, Tennessee. And uh, yeah, you, thank you for the information. You're welcome. Don't worry. And we'll have more fun. Yeah. Too Sounds easy. good. All right. Coming up next, there is a, a suicide awareness march. All right. It's going to be happening in September. Veteran Phil. I served with him with the Mighty Strike Brigade. And uh, he's going to give us a five W's while flexing on this topic. <laughs> there it goes. See what you started in third trade? Yep. Uh, yeah, that's all coming up next on the Joe Padula Show. Absolutely. Salutations. This is Casey Bryant with Local Clarksville. Don't forget to download our app to find local places to eat, shop, and play. You're listening to the Joe Padula Show. Absolutely. 